The Scandalous Life of James Roosevelt, A Closer Look at FDR's Eldest Son James Roosevelt, born into one of the most influential families in American history as the eldest son of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, led a life marked by public service, but also by scandal and controversy. His career spanned Hollywood to Capitol Hill, and his personal life, rife with romantic entanglements and publicized disputes, kept him a frequent subject of intrigue. From war profiteering rumors to contentious political alliances, James Roosevelt's life was as dramatic as it was consequential. Here are 10 of the most scandalous and shocking facts about James Roosevelt. Fact number 1. A complicated early life and tumultuous marriages. James Roosevelt, born on December 23, 1907, was the eldest son of Franklin D. Roosevelt and Eleanor Roosevelt, a family enmeshed in both privilege and intense public expectations. Growing up in the White House spotlight, James felt pressured to emulate his father's legacy yet sought a path of his own. Known for his captivating personality, he was married four times, each union marking distinct phases of his turbulent life. His first marriage to Betsy Cushing in 1930 was a high society event, Betsy was the daughter of prominent surgeon Dr. Harvey Cushing, bringing further prestige to the Roosevelt family. Together they had two daughters, Sarah and Kate. However, as James's career aspirations intensified, the marriage crumbled, culminating in a widely publicized divorce in 1940. James's subsequent marriages were equally stormy, notably his union with Ramel Schneider, which was marred by alleged infidelities, and a third marriage to Gladys Owens, which saw numerous personal clashes. His fourth marriage to Mary Winslow was no less controversial, with reports of financial disputes and legal battles. Reflecting on his complex romantic life, James once remarked, I've lived my life with all its mistakes, hinting at his struggles with stability. These family tensions, compounded by his ambitious pursuits, led to a strained relationship with his children, who often felt detached from his life due to his political ambitions. Number 2. Political Missteps as His Father's Aid In the early 1930s, James held the critical position of private secretary to his father, Franklin D. Roosevelt, which placed him at the nerve center of political decision-making. Young, charismatic, and eager to prove himself, James quickly found himself entangled in high-level matters. He frequently attempted to assert his influence, sometimes overstepping by offering unauthorized opinions on foreign policy. In one incident, James informally communicated with British officials, giving advice that inadvertently created diplomatic tensions. A British diplomat reportedly quipped, the younger Roosevelt's involvement is more hindrance than help, a sentiment that reflected broader concerns over his lack of experience. These blunders were seized upon by critics, who argued that his role exemplified nepotism and questioned whether he was capable of handling such responsibilities. Historians later observed that this period, meant to be a learning phase, instead cemented public skepticism about his abilities and cast doubt on the appropriateness of family appointments in high political roles. Number 3. Questionable Hollywood Connections and Deals Drawn to the glamour of Hollywood, James Roosevelt took on a role as an insurance executive serving the film industry in the 1930s. His association with figures like Louis B. Mayer, head of MGM, raised eyebrows as James appeared to blend business with political influence. Mayer allegedly provided James financial backing in exchange for a sympathetic ear in Washington, leading to public suspicion. James's actions drew criticism as tabloids labeled him a Hollywood power broker, suggesting that he used his family name to secure lucrative deals and access to influential studios. One notable example involved an arrangement with 20th Century Fox, where James's insurance firm reportedly benefited from exclusive contracts, a deal some insiders described as favor trading. Although James defended his work as part of his legitimate business ventures, critics saw it as a thinly veiled form of influence peddling, sparking further debate over ethics and the Roosevelt family's extended circle. Number 4. Accusations of War Profiteering during World War II, James served in the U.S. Marine Corps, where he distinguished himself in combat and was awarded the Silver Star. However, upon his return, controversy erupted over his business dealings. As a partner in Roosevelt & Sargent, an insurance firm that handled wartime contracts, James faced accusations of profiting from the war. Investigative journalists and political rivals scrutinized his finances, 
with some claiming that he had benefited from his connections to the Roosevelt administration to secure lucrative contracts. Although no legal action was taken, public perception shifted, with newspapers publishing scathing editorials. A column in the New York Times described him as a man whose patriotism stops at his wallet, capturing the disillusionment felt by many Americans. These accusations marred his otherwise honorable military service, adding another layer of controversy to his public life. Number 5. Feuds with prominent Democrats and a divisive political career. In 1950, James entered the political arena, winning a congressional seat with initial support from top Democrats. However, his political style quickly led to friction with party leaders. His outspoken, assertive approach clashed notably with House Majority Leader John McCormick. The rivalry grew so intense that it created fears within the Democratic Party of a potential rift, with McCormick reportedly calling him a stubborn Roosevelt who refuses to listen. These feuds earned him the moniker of Maverick Roosevelt, as he regularly challenged the establishment. Although he maintained his position as an advocate for liberal policies, his strained relations with prominent Democrats hindered his advancement within the party, leaving him an isolated but vocal figure. Number 6. A Scandalous Hollywood Affair Rumors of a romantic liaison between James and Hollywood star Joan Crawford circulated in the 1940s. They reportedly met during one of his Hollywood business trips, sparking speculation in gossip columns. Although James repeatedly denied the affair, stating, Joan and I are friends, nothing more, the press kept fueling the story, with many tabloids claiming secret meetings. Crawford's public image as a femme fatale only added intrigue, and the alleged romance captivated both Washington and Hollywood. While the claims were never substantiated, the rumors persisted, cementing James's image as a charismatic but sometimes reckless figure entangled in scandal. Number 7. Controversial Ties with Labor Unions James Roosevelt positioned himself as a champion for labor rights, frequently voicing support for unions. However, his relationship with these groups attracted scrutiny, as opponents accused him of exchanging political favors for union financial backing. His close ties with the AFL-CIO were particularly controversial, with critics alleging that he accepted substantial donations in return for promoting union-friendly policies. In one of his campaigns, financial records revealed significant contributions from union sources, leading rivals to claim his loyalties were compromised. This alignment with labor unions brought both support and criticism, with accusations that he was more driven by campaign contributions than genuine advocacy. Number 8. China Lobby and Foreign Influence Scandal In the 1950s, James's involvement with the China Lobby scandal brought intense scrutiny. Supporters of Taiwan's nationalist government alleged he had lent support to pro-Taiwan lobbying efforts, which clashed with official U.S. policy. The Washington Post ran a front-page article titled Roosevelt's Taiwan Ties, questioning whether his advocacy stemmed from ideological beliefs or financial incentives. While he argued his support was pro-democracy, critics claimed he was heavily influenced by prominent lobbyists and potentially lucrative promises. This connection to foreign influence left a stain on his political career, with detractors suggesting his actions posed a conflict with U.S. diplomatic interests. Number 9. Dubious Business Ventures and Lawsuits In the 1960s, James Roosevelt embarked on various business ventures, yet many ended in failure and legal trouble. One infamous case involved his partnership with a finance corporation accused of fraudulent activities. In 1963, he was linked to a firm that faced a federal lawsuit for deceptive practices, with court documents naming him among those connected to the company's transactions. Although he claimed to have had no direct involvement, the scandal tarnished his reputation, leading to his resignation from other corporate boards. Reflecting on these controversies, he later admitted, I regret my associations, a confession underscoring the reputational damage these ventures caused. Number 10. Declining Health, Financial Struggles, and Legacy In his later years, James Roosevelt's health declined rapidly. He suffered several strokes, and mounting medical expenses left him deeply in debt. His financial troubles stood in stark contrast to his affluent beginnings, 
and by the time of his death on August 13, 1991, his finances were in disarray. Former friends and colleagues described him as a man haunted by the consequences of his choices. His legacy, complicated by a mix of ambition, scandal, and periods of success, remains one of caution, illustrating the personal toll of a life spent under public scrutiny. Reflecting on his life's trajectory, he once remarked, We are all bound by our choices, an apt epitaph for a complex and often contentious journey.